Hello and welcome. This will be episode number five to altcoin analysis, which will be more of a react style as I'm going to take a look at a altcoin that trades at good volume that I've never remembered ever looking at the chart and maybe even never even heard of the coin and probably not even heard much of it before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to the Binance site because that's where a lot of the coins that will trade at good volume I've never heard of will appear for myself anyway. And I'm going to use uh, the web page here that, that I'm on. Just an interesting note, Binance system upgrade is scheduled for 2018 06 or dot 20. I use the dots, dot 26, but I like year, month, and day because then for sorting in chronological order, it's that's the easiest way to sort it. So at 2 o'clock UTC, that would be tonight. And that would, I think, work out to about 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 o'clock Pacific. Now, interestingly, in a situation like this, when markets are moving on other exchanges, then these will stay where they are. So that can cause some wild arbitrage and large fluctuations when the uh, suspension of such is done with the coins that trade on multiple exchanges. Anything that trades just with Binance really won't be affected, though. And there isn't that much that I think does. Now, interesting, they have basic and advanced. And quite frankly, this basic one is advanced enough for me that that's the one in which that I use. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this in here. Now, I can sort this by volume. And because this is like a React, I'm already ready to go as far as I have coin market cap ready to go every single coin on this page i can search see what the ranking is this way and look at it from that point and if need be i have my paint drying pro program ready if of course that becomes necessary because i don't even know what coin i'm going to be looking at right now but i will in a few seconds so i'm going to sort this by volume this is low volume so i want to go high volume ethereum number one I think this is ontology now and i've looked at that icx i recently bought you have binance coin ripple these are all coins i know ven i've looked at that because i got a buy order on that against the dollar so i don't want to do that one and i got it. i've heard of this a little bit earn 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 i guess that's the one today's technical analysis video will be that against a r and I'm not even going to look at the coin on Binance. What I'm going to do first is do a search for ARN. And let's ARN is ranked number 466 Arion. It's uh, priced in at 59.2 cents, 9,700 Satoshi against Bitcoin, up 5% for the day against the dollar. A market cap of 7.7 .7 million and its volume is $8 million per day. Circulating supply 13 million and 20 for that total. As far as where it's traded from, we'll go to markets. We got Binance, IDAX, HitBTC, but of course it's main one. When you look at seven plus the half a million, you got almost 8 million volume on Binance. And then in IDAX, it's 180,000. So therefore within stuff like the system upgrade, this is still traded on other exchanges that there's gonna be a lot of people because they realize that the Binance exchange is going to be down, there'll be quote unquote manipulation amongst other exchanges within the time frame that could very well easily happen on the short term. But now let's take a look at this on the chart and I'll use the normal trading view to view this now. And we'll get its original look on a short term level. I don't want many periods. So we're at the 10 minutes, that's fine. This will only span back a couple of days. 
type ARN. We're going to look at this against Bitcoin, probably Ethereum as well, and definitely against the dollar. And let's start this off because, uh, well, this is calculated by TradingView, so it works well, but we'll just take a look at this first against Bitcoin. That's your primary place that you're going to trade it. Okay, so it's obviously an uptrend going sideways, but that doesn't mean too much, that short term. I don't even know how long this thing has been in existence. Okay, drum roll, please, daily time frame. Okay, it's been around for a little bit. It's been around for a bit. It's had, obviously, a leg lower from this point. So now as a trader, I look at this and I'm thinking, okay, when does the entry position come in? Blindly, I know right off the bat. It's nothing wrong with buying this now in the strategy. Just by looking at this, now there's there's going to be reasons why you might want to bet less, bet more. We look further. One of the things I'll be looking at is Fibonacci downside. If the price action, I can pretty much tell that it did, break or be above this high, then I'm going to look at Fibonacci downside from this low to this high. Now, the reason why I know is because I look at the 18 average. On the first period here, the 18 average of highs is quite high. So this has been in a downtrend from the start of such. So I'm now going to use the mouse to scroll this further and see its entirety now. So there's, oh, just a not such a fun chart now, but this is it. This is it. So the main thing... It, with the Fibonacci uh, downside from this move will be how this relates to that of the uh, normal Fibonacci extension. Now, as far as the log scale on this, I'm going to take an image print of this. So I'm going to push print screen on my computer, paste the image on paint, and uh, see the log scale. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the lines from 2000 to 7. That represents that of a three and a half or a three and a half times move. So three and a half times lower on the 50,000. Well, that would give us a price target of 14,285. So therefore, if I put this up top, does this go anywhere near 14,000? The answer is no. And that means that I'm now going to want to take a look at this chart more so from coin market cap when I'm looking at this Fibonacci retracement analysis than I do on this chart. So therefore, I, I mean, I, I can put the lines here and, and for saving them, I probably will. But let's first now look at this on coin market cap. So we'll go to charts. And we'll move this into a log scale. Excellent. So therefore, now what I want to do is I want to get the key high and key low. And, I, and there's ways of doing it here. I can go like this, and then I can go like this. And I could just try to find what the key high happens to be. I don't think they'll give me any more data picks. So I got five nine eight to seven but if i use trading view i got exact numbers and therefore i have here a different higher number sixty three thousand two hundred and twenty two as you can see the number on the upper part where it has the ohlc open high low close numbers i then enter this into my calculator at sixty three two two And then I look for the lowest variable, which would obviously be happening in this lower area here. It looks like this day here, the lowest I got 1,603. So right off the bat, I mean, I know the calc, I know what the uh, um, answer is going to be. It's about a 40x move. 63 divided by 16. 16, 32, 64. So it's a little under such, about 30, some, 38, 39. 
Of course, this isn't going to tell me that, but it's going to give me the answers that I'm looking for because it's high divided by low. 63.2 divided by 16, you're going to get close to 40, to the exponent of, there's 382, 618, 236, 764. The up target is exponent 161.8%, uh, and the down target is exponent negative 61.8%. So the key numbers, the four that I'm looking at, is 20, well, the first two anyway, 26, 5, and 15, thousand so if you move this to current twenty six five what did that area do that was the upper area in here that obviously had a little bit of support broke down and all of its support levels were resisted along the way and we can see we got a decent resistance level that has been pierced lower the last two times and it hasn't had a good rally at tech since so the 23.6 uh, percent down move is long gone and so is the 38.2 from the looks of it as well as it comes in at 15.5 so it's already down about one third of its value since then and the number below that is 65. So it looks like that's where this is going to be going down to. It's already broken below the 15. It's en route to 65. So as a trader, as of now, I'm thinking the probable play is a buy order around 6,000 because it usually pierces extra. I'd probably go about 61.25. These are the things that I think of at this moment. But if we look at the, the 15532 number, let's put, it's easier just to put this in. Close enough. Actually, that's one point off. That's, wow. Anyway, or one Satoshi off. So in this situation here, when it came down to it, oh, first, when you look at it, this line technically did hit it right here. So that was pretty cool. And every single move in here was just merely a pierce and a no large noticeable extended pierce above that point. When it came down to it in here, this is where it traded as what looked like resistance, mainly resistance. It started off, it started off as resistance or because it went below it that it stayed at that point above and below it from March 19th to March 26th, 27th. Breaking down below and then just matching its previous low. And remember the things that I talk about before a big move. You're going to get a failure on one side before the other one quite frequently. So after this box that I've drawn in, we can see how it supported that level right here. And then if it was able to break out above any type of established resistance, that was a very beautiful pattern. And that's what happened. And there's your failed breakout right there. So then with the move that we see on this line as I'm looking at it after another support test in here it's been consistently going lower so to me it seems as if a lot of the rallies could be doomed to fail especially anything that comes to the 18 highs even up to 14,000 would make me speculative and within what i'm seeing it should either grind lower or just have its fast fast move now let's take a look at this again from coin market cap and within this here i can see obviously this uh, and i'm going to just not going to draw a line in it because i can draw whatever but where the triple o two number is that line there it supported it at the start of it but then it resisted it on these two occasions in here so that's all normal 
This is that key support line that I'm looking at. This is not, that's not that much of a leg lower. So yes, when I look at it, it's en route to 6,000. This again, doesn't say that it's down that much from that point, which is really why it serves a lot of injustice, I think. When you look at this here, it looks like a much, much large leg lower from here. But I'm, ob I'm obviously looking at this from this perspective that, yes, it should go lower. Now, where would the six number come in? Probably somewhere around here, which would coincide with this level of resistance. So for me, there is only one way I can play this. And that is buy it at around the six handle. And one way I can do this, now I don't want to put a buy order in yet, mainly because I don't want to put too many Bitcoins on exchanges. And I also really am not a big fan right now of putting buy orders in for deep levels. I'd rather do it when it's more realistically close, at least not too often because your base currency is tied up with buy orders, of course. But what I can do is I can add an alert on here. So I think it's, and I'd probably want to have it at around 7,000. So I have add alert 7,123. And now, and this one is, I haven't had an alert for a while. I'm just thinking it's probably the, I was thinking of the last few days, it's probably the easiest way that I have of uh, just having these things come to me instead of a buy order in, because if it gets down to this point, then I'm going to be looking uh, to do such. And for that purpose alone, I'm going to put a horizontal ray in at 6,000 just for my memory's sake. That'll work there. Actually, I'll put the exact number in. Or I'll try to see how well I can do it this time. What's the target number? 6525. See how good I can do it here. It's going to be harder now with this one. Oh, I had it too. I had it. I, I, I seen 6525, but there we are. Eight points off. So I'll have this line in for myself. I got a little bit above so that this gives me time. And again, I'm expecting a pierce below. So I would be expecting, I think 6,000 would even be conservative because, well, let's just see, what did this number bottom at? It bottomed at 14,530. So that was uh, a differential of 10 or that of about 7%. And I'm going about 8% on 6,000. So yeah, it's a standard one. That's the scary part above it. If I was to say do a pierce above or below before and you had your, and this is when you're watching it go down here. And I say chose like say, a number like say 14,000 or 14,200, just a bit below where the actual low was. Well, then I missed out on the opportunity to see this market climb better than double. And even though it was a failed rally attempt as a trader, if I'm going to be trying to pick away at these low points, that means I'm going to sell when the gains come into place. Therefore, in situations when I'm buying at 6,000, there is no excuse for the market to come up to where it came from at around 15,000, pull back, and then for you not to do well within the situation. Because that's what Fibonacci oftentimes will do here. It will hit the first level and then bounce to the next. So the general basic play that I figured out years ago or in the early stages of trading was on a downtrend, to buy at the 61.8% down move and then sell it when it gets to that line above. So in this case, buy at 65, sell at 15,000. On the reversal situations, you can make a case for if a market is uh, rallying up and it's uh, say rallied up to the 61.8%, you could short sell it and then cover your short at 38.2% down. 
but in this case I'll be looking to I'll probably be looking to buy at this level and let's just finish it off by looking at the US dollar with this code Actually, Ethereum too. Just just out of interest, it's pretty much the same. Okay, so just quickly looking at the, the log scale, forty five to a buck twenty. Uh, that's three x. Three x from twelve would be four. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So in here we can. Uh, see dollar terms that this level of support was obvious big resistance here and when it left that situation decent sized red moves down and it's just continuing a lot of its downward momentum and within such I think what a lot of the key elements within these uh, markets are going to look at that they're going to go down with Bitcoin. They're going to go up with Bitcoin. This has been no exception. Rifley, middle December. This is a little later than most for it started around December 14th or 15th. Most started around December the 10th or it was in December. This thing topped out January the 5th. All the markets went up during this time and they've all been declining. Every chart is practically the same with a few small variances here and there, some showing better signs than the others, but uh, exact same pattern for the most part here. So if Bitcoin goes to 6,000, well, this is going to most likely have a serious leg lower. If we take a look at the Fibonacci on this end here, first I'm going to remove these lines on here. And I'm going to go like this. Actually, this will fix it. A high of $10.81.4. Now, I do this because it's going to round. So I realize this is 1,081 cents. A low. I got about 24 here. And for the most part, I got 23.08. If I just put 23 in, that would be fine. So 23 cents. Man, what a big difference. So the key numbers here. Now with the Bitcoin, it's been correcting from its longer term lows because it's been around a lot longer. So Bitcoin has been coming down from like, uh, well, 6,000 down or 3,000 down would basically be a significant break low below, uh, well, December. See, this thing is already above its December lows. So that in itself is relatively impressive as, of course, Bitcoin is not. However, Fibonacci on this has $1 as a key level. It's at 58 cents now. And I have 57 cents as a key level as well. So it's at the 23.6. So then... This is most likely not the, is this a good log chart again? Where's a dollar 80 on here? Right here. The reason why I'm looking for a dollar 80, this is a 10 X move. And yeah, this is a, this is not, you can see this is a bad log chart because if you look at the bottom at 18 cents to go from that bottom area, which is a small break below the previous low, that's a 10x move. Well, $18. No, no, it's up here. It might be right. Either way, 
this thing looks to me as if it's either going to find support now because it's at that point so it'd be technically a buy time as it broke down from the last key level I wouldn't buy here but I'm just saying the math on this play is you fall from a dollar and then your next key low is a pierce below 57 cents so a dollar in here we can see was support before it was a key level that it broke down from so therefore the play is you buy at the 23 you sell at the 38 so you'd buy there the gain would be like a dollar I'm thinking about whether to do it I'm not gonna and the thing about it is in order to do it you have to first buy it on an exchange for, or against either Bitcoin or Ethereum and then when this gets to a dollar you would have to uh, sell it and then it's just not worth it for me but technically speaking that's how I would look at just a quick play again I would not do that myself and I think again this is just gonna roll with the flow of Bitcoin if Bitcoin goes to 3000 then this goes to 23 cents that would be better than losing half of its value where at this stage Bitcoin would lose half of its value to get to 3000 so that in itself makes sense for that target level and like a lot of these uh, altcoins because they're all moving together let's just hypothetically assume that Bitcoin does either one of two things either it bottoms in this general area and it has a good bull run which means it gets to 10,000 and maybe beyond or it has a failed breakdown to maybe around 4,800 to 5,000 and then does such well if the failed breakdown happens you can expect a lot of these other ones to just have one smaller leg lower and that would be it but either way these would all be going up together so if Bitcoin goes up to 10,000 from say 5,000 that would be or even no, almost we'll say 6,000 it goes to 12,000 rather if it doubles from 6 to 12 then this could easily go up to here and that's a dollar 35 and that's a gain of better about triple it could even do better than that it can go up to here a lot of these altcoins when the market goes bullish again are gonna well outperform that of Bitcoin that you're going to see that long-term bear market the altcoins have had for quite some time well basically since the uh, early parts of 2018 or this year is going to reverse back to that of an uptrend that would be the most common situation to occur because these markets work in harmony they go up together they go down together it's like having the stock market all the technology stocks are going to go up and down together for the most part but this one's uh, more creepily similar compared to say looking at like Apple and Google and all the other Nasdaq stocks anyway thank you for tuning into this video and have yourself a great day bye bye